the ever-present tin in the pantry, or grab-and-go sushi lunch, or perhaps a special occasion fine dining splurge. More often than not, we think of tuna as food before fish. And it's easy to see why. Tuna have fed countless generations throughout history. But the scale at which we eat tuna today is having an impact not just on the fish, but the ocean itself. And that means the planet. And that means you. Before they make it to our plates, tuna play a vital role in maintaining our blue planet. Because fish don't just inhabit the ocean, they fuel it. Big fish like mature tuna perform essential functions. They help maintain the natural balance of the environment by storing and cycling nutrients and carbon. Just by swimming, diving, eating, and yes, pooping, tuna are mixing water layers and moving nutrients that are crucial to our ocean's food chain and our planet's climate. Like a farmer might use fertilizer to make plants grow, tuna help plankton grow in our ocean. Like any other plants, plankton produce oxygen and absorb CO2 emissions. In fact, we have plankton to thank for half the oxygen we breathe. Right, so tuna are definitely more than food, and it's time to change how we fish for them. Fishing as carelessly as we do now means we're endangering other species like sharks and rays. These predators also help keep our ocean healthy. But some oceanic shark and ray populations have declined by as much as 90% since the 1970s. Species that have survived since the time of the dinosaurs pushed to the brink of extinction in just a few decades. And that's all down to overfishing. When these fish are gone, entire ecosystems can be thrown out of balance, threatening the oxygen production and carbon storage we need to survive. But this is a human-caused problem, and it's in our power to fix. Fish will continue to be a part of people's diets, but how we catch them and how much we consume really matters. We can do better. Fishing that happens on the high seas, the part of the ocean that doesn't belong to a single country, is regulated by organisations that work mostly out of public view. This lack of transparency means they have been able to delay needed reforms. WWF is pushing for common sense and science-based actions that will allow tuna, ray and shark populations to recover. One of our key recommendations is to put observers on all industrial fishing vessels to collect data, monitor catches, and prevent any illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. These fish are more than delicacies. They sustain millions of people worldwide and play a critical role in keeping the fragile balance of our planet in place. Safeguarding their future helps ensure our own.